spectacular aerial victories in Korean skies against the enemy's superior numbers have won a combat distinction for the F-86 Sabre jet fighter unique in the field of modern aviation. It was the F-86A Sabre, first of the historic series of this advanced airplane, which set the world speed record of 600 miles an hour shortly after it left the assembly lines and took to the sky. Later, the super streamlined swept wing fighter was to be victorious in MIG Alley. Later versions of the Sabre continue to come off drawing boards and off the production lines at North American. These models, such as the F-86E, F, and H, feature the basic combat proven design of the original Sabre. They have advanced control systems to harness added power. Complex electronic equipment is the F-86D, the nation's first all-rocket and only one-man jet interceptor. This Sabre can climb quickly to extremely high altitudes to locate and destroy a target in all kinds of weather. A larger fuselage for its more powerful jet engine and thrust booster called an afterburner and a shark-like nose for its search radar are the chief external differences in this model. Firepower from any one of the Sabre's 24 large aircraft rockets, the F-86D fired at once if necessary. Flight and firepower controls to help the pilot handle the airplane, hunt enemy targets, and open fire without even seeing them. The pilot needs this help for this Sabre can operate and fly faster than the human mind and muscle can think and act. Aerial refueling of the Sabres to stretch their normal long-range performance is quickly and efficiently done from a tanker airplane such as the KB-29 used here. The Sabre pulls into place and receives a flying boom or rigid hose from the tanker and a long drink is made in a short time, filling all fuel tanks aboard the F-86. Airfoils on the boom help the operator in the tanker's tail make the connection. It takes a steady hand on the controls to accomplish this maneuver, but the design stability and performance of the Sabre make the job go more easily. Aerial refueling for the B-45 Tornado 4 jet bombers can also be made in the same manner. This model of the Tornado is the RB-45C, a photo reconnaissance version of the airplane. It carries photographic equipment instead of the normal 10-ton load of bombs usually tucked into the bomb bay of the 550-mile-an-hour bomber. From a single point topside, all tornado fuel tanks can be filled from the tanker airplane in a very short time, adding hundreds of miles to the airplane's range and enabling it to remain in the air for indefinite periods of time to take reconnaissance photos from ground level up to an altitude of over eight miles. Newest and most modern of the Air Force training airplanes is the T-28 Advanced Trainer, which has been designed to train pilots for today's high-speed jet airplanes. With a top speed of nearly 300 miles an hour, the student pilot soon gets the feel of handling a lot of power in the Advanced Trainer. Built-in safety features make the trainer an ideal airplane for the young pilot as he makes the transition from propeller-driven to jet-propelled airplanes. The T-28 is the first United States trainer to have a tricycle landing gear, which completely eliminates the possibility of ground loops, common during early flight training. It is also the first trainer to have a steerable nose wheel, which operates just like the steering equipment on its high-speed jet brothers. 
The T-28 adds another model to the historic list of trainers produced by North American. The company won its first contract with the Air Force with the prototype of the famous T-6 Texan series, which were used by Allied Air Forces of 33 countries during World War II, and are still used by our Air Force and Navy as primary training airplanes, and used as trainers, fighters, and bombers by many friendly foreign governments. Behind the FJ-1 Fury is the latest addition to the Navy's carrier-based jet fighter arm, the swept-wing FJ-2 Fury. The new Fury is in the 650 mile an hour class and packs four 20 millimeter cannons. In addition to the hard hitting FJ-2 Fury jet fighter, North American is adding to the Navy's broad striking power with the AJ-1 Savage carrier based airplane powered by one jet and two piston engines. With a gross weight of over 17 tons, the Savage is the heaviest airplane ever to land and take off a carrier. Heavier, with more speed and power, other models of the Savage are being readied for service with the Navy's fleet air arm. These include the AJ-2, the 400 miles an hour turboprop driven A2J-1, and a special photo reconnaissance version, the AJ-2P, which carries 18 cameras at a...